WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, a kind of a cloudy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the upside. I've got the Dow up 301, S&P's up 29, NASDAQ 82, Russell's up 36. That's nearly a 2%, 1 and 7 tenths percent move to the upside. Uh, traders are up 1%, 175 points. Um, you've got gold that's trading up 2 bucks. Silver's up 29 cents. Natural gas is back 22 pennies. That's a 9% move to the downside. Light to recruit off $3.65, 5% to the downside there. In fact, the XLE is the only sector inside the S&P 500 that is trading to the downside. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart we begin the es mini upper left hand side just consolidating with inside its daily profile it has struggled for the last several days to get that back above that 5731 level if is that right uh yeah no <laughs> how about the 5879 level call 5880 price closes above that we get the move up to the 6012 level that's its a to b equals cd pattern it would be easier to make that move if the spot vix was trading below its 50-day exponential moving average it is not the 50 days at 1850, we're trading right now at 1934. The NQ trading into that trend line resistance level, trading into the top of its profile at 2525 20, uh, 25 out there. You got to close above this descending trend line. Where would that be? You know, if you use today's high as an example, 2676, that would most certainly do it. And that would then signal move up to the 21261 area. U.S. dollar index formed a uh, sell the D point or I, that, was, that was a TD9 count top that formed out there. That needs to close above 104.41 to negate that signal. If you take a look at Goldilocks, gold consolidating with inside its daily profile, resists or supported at 2713. Resistance, 2761. Consolidation inside of silver. Silver's got support at 3301. Resistance at 3465. If we take a look at light speed crude, if it does close the day below 6817, that'll be below the swing point from the trading session of October the 18th, and that would then trigger an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. 6281. So level to watch inside of light speed crude is certainly 6817. The bottom of its daily profile is at 6833. Natural gas uh, back inside its um, profile closed above it on Friday, closed above it on Thursday. It looked like we had a breakout going, but no. Price back inside there testing this buy zone. That's between 2713 and 2737. The 30 year Treasury has a buy the D point bottom. That that would be negated with a close day below 117.25. Folks, stay tuned for the uh, Trader Zed Show. But if you have to start your Monday, have a magnificent one. Thanks for joining us. And we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.